Dog, did you see that they're they made a uh a Dude, live I saw action? the first episode. Yeah, I saw the first episode. How was it? Um Fuck, dude. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. This shit was garbage. Like, I don't. I, of course, <laughs> I don't it, is. Of course it is. Of course it is. Right. Yeah, of course it, it is. It was never gonna be good. I, did you see the trailer? Like, did you see what the characters look like? I so I didn't see a dude, trailer, looks- but I think I saw a still image, and I remember mm. my first thought. Well, it was two. Oh, I have two that I remember. My first was they seem to have fucked up Yusuke's hair. Like Yusuke's hair seemed yeah. like a little too long. And they also fucking yeah. cool Barra's hair, and that's like his thing. And yeah. so I, mm-hmm. I, I, his uh, pompadour is his thing. Yeah, like that's his I, main characterizing trait. <laughs> I have no idea why people keep trying to make uh, live yeah. action animes. I, I have no idea why. They don't take the medium of anime seriously, and that's such a that's such a sad thing to see. That like they don't respect animation, and that's why though. And the, and the thing is, the the character or the the actor who plays Yusuke. You know, he actually did a good job. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm-hmm. Um, he's not he's a lot more quiet than Yusuke is in the in the um in the anime. He's not like as sort of openly loudly rambunctious, but he does have this, you know, cool loner. He does have the really cool loner vibe going for him. And the fight scenes, you know, for all intents and purposes are good. It's just it's nothing like the anime in terms of the story, in terms of what the characters look like, or really how they act and what happens. And so it's just like so who is it, this it's for? something it's getting I have no fucking clue. Dude. Who is it's this six made episodes. For? I, oh. I don't I, Netflix likes throwing money at the wall and seeing what sticks. So I don't I didn't even know I don't even know what the audience would because it sucks because One Piece live action was phenomenal. Oh, that I was know really they good. made one for One Piece. I never seen One Piece, but I know they made a live action. That's I, I, I'm surprised yeah. that a good live action anime exists. Yeah, it, it was universally loved and for good reason. But I and so that's what gave me hope for this one. But unfortunately, it was terrible. I remember recommend it. they made a live action for Full Metal Alchemist. That I, Dude, I didn't remember. watch, but I saw the clip. First off, like Alphonse. Dude, I remember. Holy shit. Someone needs to go to jail. Someone needs to go to jail <laughs> for like yeah. why, why why you didn't need to make Alphonse like CG. You could have just had an no. actual metal suit. There's no reason that he be. had to be a cartoon. Yeah. Like that was so yeah, looked, I didn't like it. God, it looked bad. It just looks so. And I saw some clips from it. I was like, man, this just does not lend itself to uh, live action. Like most animes don't. I mean, it's fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. I would have, you know, Full Metal Alchemist of all of them is actually the one where I think it could have done well live action. It's just, and I really hate to say this, but the Japanese studios, when they do the live actions, they're always bad. Their CGI is very good. It's terrible. Um, yeah, the CGI is awful, you know, and and so that really takes you out of the universe because everything just looks so poorly made. And so from then on, like the stories themselves are highly condensed. Like I don't even think they're taking it seriously as a live action as a live action uh, like media. And 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 so it could have worked if with the proper like had you have given that show to like say Amazon Prime or even Apple TV. And they had thrown the proper money at it <laughs> and like had the proper people on it working on it, then that show would have been excellent. Cause that's one of my favorite anime of all time. And it's I think so the good. themes, it's so it's so good. It's, it's amazing. So good. You know what I, I mean? I uh I don't remember how I got into watching Full Metal Alchemist, but I was just captivated by the story. Just just captivated. Yeah. And then uh, and the dynamic between, uh, you know, Ed and Al and the whole military mm. aspect. And then, you know, the yeah. the genocide themes. And it's like, and like the the father-son yeah. relationships. And I was like, man, this this writing is top fucking notch. Like, no notes. Oh, they it, they it killed was, that shit. It transcends being a good anime and like right? enters like being an amazing series. Like yes. in being amazing fiction in general. Like it, it is so intelligently written that it's almost shocking that and, and it's timeless too because you can watch it today in the year of our lord 2023 and and, and see the fucking parallels with what's going on in the real world today uh and, and so for the writer to have created something like that it, i always tell people it's better than attack on titan and people don't fucking believe me like it, to me it is it is infinitely better than attack on titan what, what's the face for 
Well, because I think that's obvious. It's better than Attack on Titan. Well, then again, oh, I like, I've I've only seen how many how many seasons are there of Attack on Titan? Like there's like four and like four? there's four seasons. Yeah, I think I stopped after season two. Uh, like really, I was like, I'm it, it was I was interested, but it doesn't mm. come close to Full Metal Alchemist. I mean, like at all. It's just even the beginning. The be like, or at least yeah. in the English version that I saw, when it starts off uh-huh. with Alphonse saying, uh, "Humankind cannot gain without first losing something in return. In order to mm-hmm. in order to obtain something of value, must be yeah. lost. That is alchemy's yep. first law. Well, that is the first Love. law of alchemy. Love. In those days, yep. we believed that was the world one and only truth. I was like." I'm in. I don't know what this story is about, that's, but that that that's, opening yeah. monologue, I'm fucking in. And just like yeah, uh that's such an interesting philosophical prompt right there, just to start it off. Yes. And because it's one of those things that's uh like it seems true. And and, and the whole thing captivates this because yeah, you can't mm. get anything without giving something in return. That that makes sense. But then when Al right. ends it by saying, in those days. We thought that was the one and only truth. And you realize, oh, right. it's actually not true. It's it seems self-evident, but it isn't. And there's a scene at the very end, I can't remember if it was in Full Metal Alchemist or it was in Brotherhood, but uh mm. there's a baby crying. And uh yeah. and there and someone says that, okay, so if this whole thing of equivalent exchange is real, this baby mm. is crying out for help. It's the only thing the baby can do. But there is no guarantee mm. help is coming. Where is that baby's equivalent mm. exchange? I was like, oh, that's just, it was perfect. It's perfect. That's that's what life. That was is. the original. That was the that original, yeah. original for what I'm doing. You saw both. Very few people have seen both. I saw both, and and what's interesting is the original is like a lot more cynical, but also a lot more philosophically like deep than I would say. If, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood isn't, and because I remember that because there was this whole conversation between. Um, the main bad guy who was in brother or who was in the first series but wasn't in brotherhood i think his name was like dante or something like that and he's having this conversation with 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 uh edward about how there is no real um equivalent exchange and he references the entrance exam for the uh the state alchemist he said what about the other students they put in just as much time as you did they put in just as much energy as you did was there did they, did they get something from that exchange and i think that that baby thing was was part of that um that series of arguments to, to sort of dismantle this idea of like universal law of equivalent exchange but it was it just hits so deeply it was so good it it has no business being as good as it is. It's like, hey, at all, like no business at all. Uh, it's kind of like Better Call Saul. I would say Better Call Saul has no business being as good as it was. Like Better Call Saul was like watching a Michelin chef at at, at a fucking Wendy's or something. What are you doing? Really, here? was it like, that good? Is, I haven't seen it. I saw Breaking Bad. Oh, I great. saw El Camino. I haven't it's seen Saul great. yet. It's so good, man. It's great. Uh, but it's not a full metal alchemist. Oh, Brotherhood or full metal alchemist. One thing that confused me, and I, I'm sure it confused a lot of uh, people, was uh, uh, the homunculus. Uh, I guess he's different, different shows. I forget which one, but I, uh, yeah, Bradley. I can't remember which one mm-hmm. he is in each show, but uh, mm. he, Wrath, is, I think. he is he is Fuhrer King Bradley. And so when you hear yeah. that, you're like, wait a minute, hold on. Uh, is he, yeah. is he a king or is he a, a Fuhrer? But it's like, oh, his first name is King. That's weird. Like, I don't know. I, <laughs> why, I like, that's that's odd. Like, there's no way that doesn't confuse everyone. And I was like, look, maybe they wrote it that way in Japanese. But I'm saying, if I was the producer, I was like, all right, he's Bradley King. That's gonna go clear up a lot. Like, he's Fuhrer Bradley King. No one's gonna be confused by that. Oh, the, his name was King. This whole his fucking name time. is King. Yes, his name. His title oh. is Fuhrer. But his first name is actually King. Yes, yeah, it's, it's weird, right? That yeah. is insane. Yeah, it's weird. What the fuck? Yeah, I thought it was just two titles. That is insanely weird. No, right? it make any sense. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah, his name is King yeah. Bradley. Yeah, it's so it's so fucking odd. But yeah, I, I love Photo Alchemist, and I love uh, like the uh, 
the sat like the the bond between Ed and Al and like the sacrifice yeah, they're willing really to make to bring their mom back, only to realize they can't actually do it, and you know what yeah. they lost in the process. Like, oh god, it's so fucking good. But yeah. that wasn't even one of the topics. Yeah. But hey, it was, <laughs> it was great. yeah, the relationship between the brothers really sold it for me. That's what I love to see. Like, it's it just, so they had good, such a man. strong bond, and how they would do anything to save each other, and uh, how yeah, right. So, did you ever watch? There was a movie called The Conqueror of Shambhala. <laughs> It was a Full Metal Alchemist movie. Um, you know, was it, it was, Brotherhood? Was it a Brotherhood movie or was it an original? No, movie? it was from the original like, series. I'm pretty sure. And uh, so the no, I never saw it. the plot of the movie is that uh, at the end of the original Full Metal Alchemist, Ed uh, is gone. You know, and uh, yeah, he ended up coming to our universe, and that's that's mm-hmm. where Ed is. And uh, in our universe, it's in the middle of, you know, World War One, And, you know, mm. we're getting... I can't remember if they explained this actually in the show or not, or this is part of the movie, but it's... Yeah, turns, he gets sent... I know in the end he gets sent to that universe. Well, it turns out that uh, the power they use to create alchemy in their world is... Uh, is uh, drawn from the death and destruction from our world in World War One. Like that's where the the power is coming from. Yeah, and so uh, I don't know. It was an interesting uh, thing, but uh, I they finally got Ed back, you know, to the world, and I, I kind of liked that. Like I was a semi happy ending. He said I liked it. <laughs> yeah, it was a semi happy ending I, for the boys. Uh, yeah, I don't remember seeing that film. I do remember seeing the end of. Uh, full or yeah, the original series and having him go and I and I just it always struck me how different the ending from that series and Brotherhood is because Brotherhood ends on such a happy note, but then, it does, like, yeah, right. The original just ends fucking dark, like it's yeah. just like everybody and, loses. And you know what? Like I like the first ending better. I, I do, like because I, I kind of did too because it fits more with the theme. It fits more with the theme yeah. of the show. Like I love the happy ending. I kind of contradicted myself. Like, oh, it's happy. But if, if I was like to look at it critically, I'm like, this ending kind of makes yeah. more sense. 